Worldwide, the COVID-19 pandemic has changed our world and lives forever. We aim to shed some light on this virus, why it affects us disproportionately, and what we can do to stay safe. As time has moved on and we have slowly returned to normality, the number of cases have started to rise again. What we can say is that this virus has not gone and we expect the number of cases and deaths will rise and fall over time, making it even more imperative that we place close attention to our own risk and health. We can split some of the risks which make us more prone to poor outcomes from COVID-19 into those we cannot change and those we can. There is no point in worrying about those we cannot change, like our age, our gender, our ethnicity, but we should be aware if we are at higher risk and pay even more attention on the things that we do have control over. It is clear, the older we are, the more likely we are to die from COVID-19. Over 90% of the deaths in the UK have been of those aged 60 and above. In fact, we understand that when compared to someone in their 50s, your chance of dying doubles if you're in your 60s, it's almost five times more if you're in your 70s, and when you get to your 80s, the risk of dying is 12 times more. Some diseases are more common in men and others more common in women. It is clear men tend to get more severe infections and are twice as likely to die. Certain ethnicities have fared much worse from COVID-19. Being of Indian ethnicity means the risk of dying from coronavirus is about one and a half times more than someone who is of white ethnicity. It is not entirely clear why, but it may be due to underlying health conditions such as heart disease, diabetes and high blood pressure. As mentioned earlier, there are some risk factors which we can change and also contribute significantly to your risk from COVID-19. People with diabetes have a much higher risk of becoming seriously ill and dying from coronavirus. Even having diabetes, which is well controlled, makes it 50% more likely you will die. And if your sugars are uncontrolled, your risk of dying goes up to 150%. It's important to note that one quarter of all UK COVID-19 related deaths were in those with diabetes. Having disease which affects your kidney, which could be related to diabetes, high blood pressure and other reasons almost doubles your risk of dying. Heart disease, including having ischemic heart disease, angina or having had previous heart attack, increases your risk of dying by over 27%. BMI is a measure of your weight compared to your height. The higher the number, the more overweight you are. We know the more overweight you are, the higher your risk of dying is. Over 75% of those critically unwell admitted to the ICU with COVID-19 have been overweight. If you are obese, you are 33% more likely to die compared to someone who is not. Even more staggering is that if you are very obese, your risk increases to 130%. Today, we have outlined what makes people more susceptible to COVID-19. These can be split into things we cannot change and things we can change. Moving forward, we will look at the risk factors we can change and aim to give some tips and advice on how we can all be more resilient. We'll aim to provide vital information on assessing if you're overweight, some information on diabetes and how to prevent it, as well as heart disease. We'll look at how you can combat being overweight, looking at your diet and your lifestyle, and make some simple recommendations which we should all be able to implement.